If you're fans of expanding, you're going to be in for a treat today because we're expanding two brackets. What do you notice about these quadratic brackets? How is it different to the linear brackets? We can expand quadratic brackets in a very similar way to how we expand linear brackets. With linear brackets, we multiply everything in the bracket by the term on the outside. You can see that the term on the outside of this quadratic is x plus 2. This means we need to multiply everything in the bracket by x and then by 2. Let's go through these questions. To expand a quadratic, we multiply each term in the first bracket by each term in the second. Let's start by looking at the a in the first bracket. We're going to multiply it by the first term in the second bracket, the a. a times a is a squared. Then we're going to multiply it by the minus 2. a times minus 2 is minus 2a. Now we move on to the 5, so we're going to do 5 times the a, 5a, and then 5 times the minus 2, minus 10. Notice that we've got an a squared term, a number term, but we have two a terms. So we can simplify by collecting the like terms. We're going to do minus 2a plus 5a, which is plus 3a. We can expand quadratics by converting them into linear brackets. The 2x will be multiplied by the second bracket. We can show this as a linear bracket. We can then do the same with the minus 6. We can then expand those two brackets and then simplify. When we're asked to expand a bracket that's squared, we need to write that bracket twice because square just means itself times itself. Now, you might have heard of a method known as FOIL, and that is what we're covering. We are doing FOIL. What FOIL stands for is first, outside, inside, last. I don't like using acronyms generally, um, but it helps some students, and if it helps you, then use it. So we're going to start off with the first two terms in each bracket, the 4x's, and times them together. Then the outside two, the 4x and the minus 2y. Then the inside two, minus 2y times 4x. And then the um, last, so L is for last, minus 2y times the minus 2y. Notice there are like terms here. We've got minus 8xy, minus 8xy. So add them together, you get minus 16xy. Let's finish on this question. How can you use the method you learnt today to work out 19 times 21 really quickly? If you know, write it in the comments below. And you can come to onmaths.com or click the link in the description where you get access to all our GCSE papers and predictions all completely for free and you can even save your scores with a free account. This video is part of a larger GCSE course that you can follow along with at onmaths.com.